In this video, I will show you how to lock Google Chrome in your computer on Windows 10. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, what you're going to want to do is open up a new browser and you want to download a program called Osoft. So what you can do is come up to the address bar and type osoft.net to come across to the official website. So here we are on the website, this is what it looks like. Now what you're going to want to do is come up to the top to this blue bar and you want to click onto secret folder and then come down and click onto download. That's going to take you across to the download page and all you want to do from here is just scroll down and you're going to see the download link just down here. So just go ahead and press this button to be taken to a page like this. From here locate the secret folder app which is just here and to the right of it press the download button. So once that's finished downloading what you can do is find the folder by coming back to your desktop and then coming down to your taskbar click onto your file explorer and then come into your downloads folder to locate the installation program which is just here. Now all you need to do is double click this to run the setup wizard and if a pop-up box comes up just press yes, select your language and then press ok and accept the agreement and then press next to start installing this onto your computer. So now that's been installed what's going to happen it's going to load up a window just saying basically thanks for installing and what you can do is just close this window down and you can see it's loaded up automatically. So what you want to do first is go ahead and fill in this initial form. So you just need to go ahead and type a password. So you want to make sure this is something easy to remember. Make sure to put this in the confirmation box underneath. Then what you need to do is enter a recovery email address just in case you forget your password. So you just want to put that into this box. And again, just add this in the confirm recovery email address and then press OK at the bottom. So as you can see, this is now setting up everything ready. So next, what you want to do, you're going to get a window like this. Now from here, you want to come and click onto add in the top left hand corner. And what we're going to do is add Google Chrome. Now to do this, you want to add the actual .exe file. So you don't want to add this from your desktop. You want to add the actual program. To find this, this is generally in your program file. So what you want to do is click onto the arrow next to this PC and then click onto your C drive then you want to go ahead and locate program files so you can see that's just here in here you should see Google then we can see the Chrome folder here so you just want to click onto the Chrome folder and then press OK as you can see this has now added this to our Chrome folder and then you can just come up and press lock at the top to lock Google Chrome so once that's done what I'm going to do is just try and open up Google Chrome on my computer as you can see we get a pop-up like this so basically where the program has been locked so we cannot open it. So as you can see, no matter how you try and do it, it's not going to work because this is locked. And all you need to do to unlock this, if we go ahead and close down secret folder, and what I'm going to do is just search for secret folder in my program list. So you can see that's here. So I'm just going to open this back up. And when you open this back up, it's going to ask you for your password. Once that's done, go ahead and press OK. Then all you need to do is click onto Google Chrome here, come up to the top and press unlock, just like so. And then if we try and load up Google Chrome again on the PC, you'll see this is now going to load up successfully. So that's how to go ahead and lock Google Chrome in your computer on Windows 10. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.